I've been doing a lot of shows lately, you know? Hitting up all the big venues. I, it's really exhausting, but you know, that's what the music's all about. It's about being on your feet all the time and doing stuff. All right, so what I do is I pull from the greats like Queen and Michael Jackson and Pitbull. And I take some of the sounds that they've done, like a riff or something, and then I pair it up with something new, stretch it out, slow it down, speed it up, stuff like that. It's called remixing. We live in a period of time where music and film and literature are largely circulated through a participatory culture. This means that individuals don't just listen to their favorite songs, they interact with them. So what I do is I pull in a clip from over here and then I loop it all these times and I manipulate it and when you put it all together it makes something completely different. Here, check it out. Oh my gosh, I love Boy Talk. She's so inspirational. She's just really changing the game for the music industry. Lawrence Lessig discusses this idea when he talks about the difference between a read-only and a read-write culture. Centuries ago, Sousa predicted that the impact of digital technology would cause society to push an emotion of read-only, where people only listen to songs. He never predicted that it would actually push people in the opposite direction of read-write culture. Digital technologies have allowed computers and editing softwares to be used as instruments of some kind. So we're actually seeing a resurging of the read-write culture he always thought would die out. She has a vibe where we can harmonize with her songs and send them to her, and we all connect with her that way. But that's just one platform. On YouTube last year, a bunch of us were making our own music videos to her song, Love Rocks. She saw them and she loved it, she, so she had us all send in videos on YouTube and Vine and Instagram and she picked her favorites and they got to be in the official music video. It was a perfect example of participatory culture across multiple platforms. In accordance with the whole concept of a participatory culture, we're seeing different kinds of media having an influence over multiple platforms. It's called transmedia. For example, think about the Disney movie Tangled. Children and adults are able to connect with and build upon that world outside of the initial movie by interacting with things outside of it. So for example, they might put the character Flynn at a DMV on one of their vines. Or they might write a fan fiction. Or they could just buy a stuffed chameleon and play with it with their friends. My favorite thing is my boy talk action figure. It's just the coolest. This is not only a great way for people to interact with the mythology of the story, but it's also a really good PR move that generates a lot of extra revenue. I'm getting sued. Huh? What? I'm getting sued. Oh my god. The problem that comes into play with this participatory culture is where do you draw the line between what's stealing and what's creative? What's wrong? I don't, I don't know. They're saying it was too similar to the original song. Wait, what? Wait, just calm down, calm down. Just wait, hold on. It might not be that big of a deal. I don't have a million dollars! Just show me the song, hold on. Okay, um. Okay. This is the original song. Mm -hmm. And then you, know, you get into the song a bit more, and it's like. Do you ever feel then you get into it some more, and it's like. Okay, but then here's my remix version of it. I've been working on this for a couple weeks. Okay, ready? Here it is. Do you hear it? Hear the difference? No. No, no, just, just wait for it. It's coming up. It's coming up. You sure about that? No, 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 it is. Okay, so it's, look, right here, right here, right here. That's it? You hear it? No, no, no. no, 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 no that's it. There's that sound right there. 
Exactly. That's it. Loretta, I worked for like two weeks on this. That's what you do during your time. There's a big dispute over the copyright laws surrounding this culture. Intellectual property essentially gives an artist or a label or a company ownership over an idea. Now the big companies are saying that all of the power needs to be with the ones who hold the copyright. But the people are saying that this inhibits them from creating. Technology was one of the things that really started pushing us away from read-only culture in the first place, but now copyright laws and the backlash are posing a threat to read-write culture as well. Creative Commons files are free to use by the public because They've been around for so long that no one really seems to profit from them. Uh, pushes to update the law are striving to make the Creative Commons more enriched and accessible for everyone. Now, if Boy Talk had really paid attention to this, then she might not be having all of the problems that she is right now. She actually really does have remixes that sound different. I just don't know what she was thinking with that one. It's just a learning process, you know? We're all learning. The way technology is changing, we know that we all have to make changes to what we think and meet somewhere in the middle. I still stand by Boy Talk. She's my idol. But we all do need to be careful what we're sharing and uploading. The most important thing to focus on now is that everybody wants to be so involved. We still have a long way to go between finding that balance between the big wigs and the young creators, but that creative instinct, the creative art behind music, we can rest assured that it's alive and well. Plastic bag.